Hello all, it's Scotty again. It's uh, S3 Model Works, Scotty Scale Studio. Welcome back and thank you for joining me. Um, tonight I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my uh, demo on my uh, DIY static grass applicator, which is right here. Does it look like a converted bug zapper? Kind of. The handle is about the only thing left, um, but that's exactly what it is. It's a $4 Harbor Freight bug zapper with the uh, racket cut off. This is a uh, 99 cent travel mug. I think I got a two set of sieves. Steel, not stainless steel, so you can solder to them. Um, is best. But a couple of couple of sieves for 99 cents. Um, runs on D-cell power. And a very a very basic tour of it's gonna be. I disclaim because I'm sorry guys, I didn't do another video build of how I built mine. This is just how it came off. There's plenty of good tutorials out there. It's very easy to do, so I'm not even going to bore you guys with, with any of that. But essentially what I've done here is taken a three-wire gridded system, which powered the bug zapper, and turned it into a two-wire with a lightning rod, <coughs> is essentially what happens here. This acts as a ground. Um, and that also generates the negative uh, charge that allows the grass to stand up and be drug around, much like you would do with metal ferrite magnets, except this is just an electrical charge. Um, so tonight we're going to be playing with a little bit of 4 millimeter um, medium green static grass. That's what it's look lo looking like if you guys have never seen it before. It's very, very fine. You might see a few hairs up here in this back corner, so but you can see how very, very fine it is. I like this stuff here because um, the four millimeter agitates very 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 well so you guys will see that hopefully on video um, we are going to make some sparks tonight because i'm working on the interior grid panel of the um, of the paddle itself as you can see the paddle was basically attached just like this minus the cup and all this so it's basically just a bug fly swatter is what it is so this is a little bit of parchment paper on here. I just have it taped down to the grid, using the grid so that we can keep it relatively flat. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit while we do this and demo this. See if I can get you guys a bit closer. Hmm. Closer. Oh, is that going to white out? Give it just a second here. Come on. Come on, baby. Take it out just a little bit. So anyway, tonight we're going to be using uh, this is the uh, some woodland scenic uh, static tack. It's basically white glue. You'll see here in just a minute the grass tufts I've already got, and this is real easy to do. So I just wanted to show you guys what the potential was here, and and this thing does have a lot of potential. I think it makes really cool grass tufts. I haven't made anything real big yet. Um, or done any big areas, but I'm still in the experimental phase. Because I can tell you guys, even after uh, building this, I already have ideas for improvement. And the number one idea is going to be to reduce the size of that basket some, because it's too big. I can't see what I'm doing. I also want it transparent so I can see through it. And I would also like a medium and a small size one in case I want to do like a rapid change, you know, between grass types without having to take it all apart and mix it. So I was thinking about maybe a little, I don't know, vacuum seal, some sort of universal collar. I'm sure I can figure something out with empty recyclable glass. So anyway, we're just, I am going to cheat a little bit tonight and I'm not going to load the hopper because this hopper is entirely too big. What I'd really like to do is put something like this on it. So I would be <clears throat> maybe a little bit shorter. Actually, probably about the, the rough length, but you guys will see when I start slinging this thing around, it's it's a lot, and I guarantee you I am going to make some sparks as I, as I contact this. And forgive me, I'm going to flinch. I'm a former fireman. I'm I have a healthy respect for electricity, and I've been chased by both industrial and Elect and commercial electricity, and I've been zapped by 440. Um, not a pleasant experience. As a matter of fact, I zapped myself earlier this evening while I was playing with some of my test tufts, which you guys can check out while I sip on a little bit of coffee. That was round one of the tufts. 
This is round two of the tufts, and as you can see, they do have a fair bit of dimension on them. I mean, for scale stuff, doing 135, 148, maybe 172. I built some larger clumps. I thought these guys came out kind of cool. What do you guys think? So anyway, obviously, those results speak for themselves, and they are, but I wanted you guys to witness it, so let me turn the camera back down and we'll get to witness. Can I get an amen, brother? But I am going to cheat tonight. I'm not going to load the hopper. I'm really just going to sprinkle some grass on these tufts that we've done, and I'm going to start agitating with the screen as soon as I ground it up. So you guys will see what I do. Everything right here on camera. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of the grass and just dump it on each one. And you guys can see how delicate those strands are. They're quite delicate. It's okay to put a fair bit of grass on here because you will be able to drag it around. And I built this on, um, sorry, not built, but I'm actually stealing some advice from Luke Tauen, who he, He's a board war gamer, I believe, and a train guy. Runs a YouTube channel. Very, very, very talented guy. I think he's a... I want to say he's Australian, but I'm fairly certain he's in the UK somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. But Luke, thank you to that. If you ever check my video out, I appreciate the tip. But Luke had had said, he, basically, when he does his tufts, he just tapes the, uh, the parchment paper um, directly to one of Mama's baking sheets straight out of the kitchen. I can't get away with that in this house. The women would have my <coughs> cojones. So essentially what I'm going to do is just uh, ground this thing right here. This is uncharged at the moment. As you guys can see, my light's off. You'll see in a minute when I get it charged up here. And this is a test. I haven't done anything on this grid before. But as you guys can see, it just looks kind of like it's piled up right there right now. And excuse me, I'm going to probably have to get my face down here to do some of this. All right. But I will, you know what? Let me swap that ground to this side so the screen's not bending up for you guys. Okay. So you can hear the whine and see the light somewhere on the handle there when I... I don't know if the light's on my side, sorry. But the light charges up, you can hear the whine. Okay, it's live. Sorry, let me reposition here. <clears throat> and we are lifting static grass. I don't know if you guys can see any of those strands that might be moving on and about there. Wow, this is working really, really good on that metal grid. If you see any blue sparks, that's me arc welding. <laughs> like that. And I told you I'd flinch, and I did. And I ain't a liar. And my uh, exposed screen down here is actually one of my Mark II builds that I'm thinking about for my next little <laughs> Iron Man suit version here. I am right down on top of that 4mm. You can get it to sort of... Basically what you gotta got to do is get down here on it and sort of see it, but you can... You can wiggle them around, you can dance them, you can fold them over, you can build them clumpy. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with them. I mean, just with gentle, gentle movements. You guys can see the gentle movements that I'm doing. There's no vigorous shaking. There's no anything. Wow, I'm, I'm actually really, really impressed on this grid. I'm glad I saved this thing. The other two weren't worth much of a damn. Uh, the... the yeah, they were just, they were terrible. Just cheap Chinese electronics. Then again, just about everything is pretty cheap these days. But as you guys can see, okay, so power's off, ground, we're done, and let's see if I can zoom in here and give you guys a, a better view. Mm, not really. Maybe I should zoom out. Damn it. Eek. So sorry. 
My camera stand is absolutely horrible, you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, now that I've got us good and close, all I gotta do is position a little bit that away. <clears throat> I wanted you guys to be able to see it actually lift. So I'm gonna try desperately to work on this side and not make sparks. see some of that grass that I'm dragging up around there, around the edges? I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope this video comes out okay. Oop. See? Even a little spark equates to a little flinch for me, I told you guys. You can actually get really, really close to the grid. I think because the glue is still so wet and kind of blobby on here as you're building these. As you see, I'm probably smearing some because I keep dragging grass over them and I'm probably not letting it tack up enough. But I just I really just wanted to do a short video for you guys and prove that it does work. And um, you know what? For 12 bucks or whatever it cost me, it's not a bad option to do a 40 or $80 dedicated static grass applicator, especially, whoops, I probably already grounded it, yeah, it's done, but anyway, oh, god, did I weasel the camera out of the way, I'm so sorry, all right, but anyway, um, that's where we're at, it's not exactly bad, I'm sure they would look even better with uh, some pigment and some color under them. Um, but I think for the most part, I've, I've met my expectations for this DIY project. So, um, from Las Vegas, here in America, um, on this slightly blustery, wet, and chilly night where it's raining, um, I'm going to bid you guys good night, and uh, I'm going to press on with a couple of small projects that I have going on out here. Wish you the best. If you guys have any comments, questions, please leave them. I love your subscriptions. I love you guys that follow me. Um, it's wonderful to be able to share some of the knowledge. I hope this gives back to, to some of you. But if you, if you have any questions about how I built this thing, I'd be happy to answer them. I really would. I mean... There are a ton of videos online that show you how to do this. this. Like I said, this is just how mine turned out with my components here in America. And and that's how it is. But I did it, I think, roughly for somewhere between 13 and 14 bucks. So definitely a worthwhile project. If you haven't played with static grass, um, I did another base. I'm not going to show it to you guys because it came out terribly and I'm embarrassed about it. But I have my P40 sitting on it right now. And even though I did a good job on my P40, it looks even better on the base, even on a crappy base. So that should speak for itself. But anyway, um, too much talk and not enough modeling. So I am Scott. This is S3 Model Works bidding you a fair morning. I'll talk to you guys real soon or on the next update and see you on the Facebook pages. Peace. Bye.